All right, so the Dockers now, definitely mm. one of the most um, disappointing seasons, uh, yeah. uh, teams of last year. For sure. Um, so they've got Brisbane in round one, not opening round, uh, Brisbane round one at home, which is um, a tough start. Yeah, well, it's. I think it's something that Justin Longmill wouldn't mind. Like, there's going to be a lot of pressure on him this year given his off contract. And yes, they want a good start. Um, but I feel like you know no one's expecting them to win that game. It's at home and... Geez, if they can just keep themselves in it, it's it's. I think even that'll, you know, play its part in, in kind of holding him at the helm um, through those early rounds. And you know, if they manage to win, then that's going to be a, a real great kickstart for them. A couple of warm up games against West Coast and Port, who are yeah at opposite ends of the ladder. Um, but again, how much you want to look into practice matches and preseason games is is for the beholder. Um, Few injury concerns like Chapman, he, his Chapman, part of me will miss start of the season. Josh Corbett, Sebert Kewick on the uh, inactive list, but that's given them some options. Signed Paddy Voss, former Essendon forward, signed Jeremy Sharp, former Gold Coast flanker, two guys who certainly could be playing against Brisbane. I think Sharp sounds like he definitely will, just given they lost Schultz and Henry and they want some outside runs. So, um, yeah, he was a nice little pickup for them. And Voss as well has something to prove, probably behind the likes of Amos, Tracy, and Tabana. But I wouldn't be surprised if he's kind of, you know, in in the selection frame soon after that. And then I guess it's it's going to be their, A, their back line, how that holds up systematically and, and personnel-wise. They might lose Hayden Young to the midfield, which still isn't like the worst thing, I think, from what we saw mm. last year. Um, and then their ruck force as well. Luke Jackson, Sean Darcy, two of the best ruckmen. But <coughs> pardon me. How well will that work? I think it'll be. I think they should be able to crack in this year. Darcy probably seven percent ruck, Jackson seven percent forward, mm -hmm. and rotate through where you can. So, um, yeah, like you said, disappointing last year. Plenty of upside, very high ceiling, but at the same time, could easily be back around bottom four. Yeah, just given where I think the rest of the competition sits and the amount of clubs that are trying to push into the top eight. Yeah, and with the Mostly losing players in the off season. Um, you Doesn't know, help. Losing Lucky Schultz. Um, I just can't see if they get off to a bad start. Do we see Longmuir seeing out the rest of the season? Yeah, I think they, they got to give him ten rounds. Yeah. And the other thing that you have to look at is is who's available. Like yeah. If it's, yeah. Sure. Sometimes you really want to sack your coach under performance, but you got to think about what that next step is and who you're bringing in. Um, not to say there's there's no one available. It's just about you know who wants to kind of take that lead um so 10 rounds at least or to the buy at least um you'd be wanting to have probably four or five wins yeah um, sitting at maybe 0.500 would be nice for them um at that point of the year or at least you know safe enough for a long year you'd think yeah 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 it could be a tough year for Frio, but again a lot of talent on that list so mm -hmm. um yeah we'll see how they go mm -hmm.